chosen ones, empaths, many of you are going to probably disagree with me because I've made similar content before and a lot of you disagreed with what I said, right? But I need to put it out there because it is, I believe it's true and I believe that these narcissists, especially spiritual narcissists, that like run these games with us, right? You see, many narcissists use spirits to enter our dreams and they want to sway our subconscious mind. You see, by, by them entering your dream, right, they're sending spirits to, to influence your dream about them, right? You wake up in the morning, even if you don't remember your dream as such, right? Or it wasn't a nightmare or you just don't remember it. Your mind, your subconscious mind has slowly shifted. So they, they, this is how they use love spells and they use these types of things, this witchcraft, to try and influence you while you're in dream state. To try and change the way of your thinking when you're when you're conscious. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that all narcissists do this, but the narcissists I was involved with, they do this, right? Um It can't really affect us as chosen ones and empaths. I used to have a different uh, opinion about it. I used to believe it can affect us a lot more than it can. It can't really affect us. But during our dream state, when we're asleep and we're unconscious, it can affect us. But this could be, right, you know, it could be, it could be even them ruminating so much because it's a spirit of rumination that you're, that you're dealing with. When you're ruminating, you're dealing with the spirit that's, that's causing you to obsess and constantly think about them. So this could be them unconsciously influencing your dreams as well. I'm not saying that they're sitting there chanting around a magic pot and they're sending they're sending these things your way they can be doing that but i'm saying they can just be ruminating about you to such a degree that it causes in the spiritual realm influence of your dreams right now as much as they can do it i a lot of you in the comment section believe that you got a message from god through your dreams which is beautiful that's a beautiful thing right because it's true God can also send you warnings through these dreams, you know. God can be making you aware that you're dealing with a narcissist. Some of you have mentioned snakes and different types of creatures and various dreams I've read in the comment section that you, that you lot have experienced. And that can be God actually waking you up to the fact that you're dealing with a narcissist. And some of you have actually made your break away from the narcissist down to a dream that you've had, right? And, it's, and it kind of woke you up. So that's a beautiful thing, right? But as well, it can just be our subconscious mind. Naturally, if we're dealing with the spirit of rumination and we've been ruminating about the narcissist, because naturally when the, when the narcissist is ruminating about us, if, blah, I was about to swear, but it causes us to ruminate as well. It causes us to circulate in our minds about the narcissist and stuff like that, right? So it can just be our subconscious like coming to fruition, coming to the surface and giving us a dream detailed about what we've been ruminating about and what they've been ruminating about, right? But don't eliminate and don't rule out the fact that these narcissists, these spiritual narcissists especially, do indulge in witchcraft. They do indulge in this type of behavior. They've got no love for God. They've got no love for God at all. I don't care if they pretend they're you know, the holiest of the holiest, right? These lot have no love for God whatsoever, right? They fear me in their makeup for all the pain and suffering they've caused people in their lives and their smear campaigns and all of that that they've done. They fear me in their makeup. And this world is very short. We're only here for a little while, you know? We're only here for a little while, so the games don't last forever and they will meet their maker one day. Regardless, they're going to meet their maker. And even if people don't believe, you know, when they get into an elder age, they start to contemplate and begin to ponder on the fact that life's coming to an end. And that's naturally what does happen to people when they get to an elder age, right? But the narcissist during this time, it's not pondering. They begin fearing. They begin getting scared. Their bodies begin decomposing before it's, you know, sooner than... They need to be decomposing, you know what I'm saying? And especially if they've got no supply around, decomposing takes real effect, right? When they don't have like a potent supply around them. Um, 
but they're scared of meeting their maker. They're very scared of meeting their maker. But just be aware that these narcissists do use spirits to enter dreams. You know, they want to sway your subconscious mind. So when you wake up in the morning, you're thinking about them. And I've experienced numerous dreams, right? I've experienced numerous dreams, right, to do with the narcissist. And they're always... Um, they're, they're always like gothic -y style dreams, you know, like kind of demonic, gothic -y, weird, weird dreams, horrible dreams, you know what I'm saying? And the narcissist is in them and that, and it's like, yo, um, and I believe that they do, I, as I mentioned before, a lot of you ain't from the, I grew up in the 90s, right? And I used to watch Hey Arnold. A lot of you don't know what Hey Arnold is, but you can do the reset if you really want to. But Hey Arnold, there used to be a, a girl in it. They used to call him Football Head. And I always compare the narcissist that I was with to Helga, right? Because secretly she had an obsession with Hey Arnold. She had an obsession with Hey Arnold, with, with Arnold. And she used to have a little shrine of him in her wardrobe and stuff like that. And she used to pray to it and stuff like that. And that's what I believe my narcissist is like with me because... She smeared my name to such an extent, made out that I was the worst thing in the world, yet she's contacting me, she's reaching out to me, she's trying to speak to me when police have all said that we're not meant to talk. Like, come on, man, get on with your life now, you know what I'm saying? She's even been watching this content and stuff like that. She's a weirdo, proper Helga. But um, I do believe that she, she uses influences the spiritual realm. I don't know if she's putting my name in her shoes and walking around and chanting. I don't know what kind of shit these lot do. Yeah, these lot do some weird old stuff, man. These these um these spiritual narcissists, right? To influence the spiritual realm. And basically, if, when you when you when you gain when you want to influence with the spirits, right? That means you you make yourself lower than a demon. You have to worship demons basically to to let them to to gain a contract. With the spiritual, with the spirit world, from what I know, I don't know a lot about it, but I'll share what I know with you. You know, hopefully it will help. But you have to gain. You have to, you know, it's bargaining. You have to make a contract with the spiritual realm with the demons to enable them to work for you. So you offer sacrifices of that kind, or you offer some kind of thing to them, right? Um, it could be a sacrifice of a chicken or something. There's different types of m magic that people use throughout the world you know the, the spanish magic or voodoo or or different types but none of this can affect us as chosen people of god right none of this can affect us so i don't want you lot to fear it or anything like that even if you do have dreams you gotta understand there's even a source of information out there about if you dream about someone it means they dreamt about you too so they could have been lucid dreaming or whatever, they could have been doing anything to try and make the dreams connect. Because they've got nothing left. That's what you've got to realise. They've got nothing left. If you've door slammed, bolted and welded it shut, they've got nothing left but to reach out to you in your dream state. You know, if they can't come knock at your door, they can't come fold up your phone, you block them, they can't reach out to you. They've got nothing left but to try and influence you in the spiritual realm. You see what I'm saying? And to sway your subconscious mind. But this also, as I like to say, it can be a sign from God. You know, can be a sign from God as we've as I've already discussed in this video, and many of you are aware of. Many of you take to that take to that fit way of thinking when it comes to dreams. Or it can just be your subconscious mind, because naturally when we're when we're thinking about things, um when we're thinking about things as of that nature, um, it can come out in our dreams and stuff like that. But look, we just got to realise that we're dealing with some weirdo people, right? Proper weirdos, like proper, proper dusty weirdos. And they will stoop to any level to try and influence us. Just like they stoop to any level to influence us to begin with to get into our lives. You know what I'm saying? Like with the love bomb and the devaluation and all of that, they go to any level... To try and manipulate us. To try and gain control of our souls. They want to collect souls. They're weirdos. They're dusty. And they will actually lower themselves down lower lower than a demon. They don't love God. I don't care if you met this... If this person is in the church or they're a pastor or they're... 
you know, whatever, if they're the imam or they're the, um, the rabbi or whatever, man, whatever kind of ch uh, religious place you go to, I don't care if they're, you know, the leader of that uh, organization, they still can be narcissists, they still can be preoccupied with the devil, you know what I'm saying? And they just they, they just masquerade with this with this fake light that they're holy and stuff like that. So anyway, I went a bit off topic here, but anyway, um please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. And if you want a one to one session myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently I have the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.